Welcome back to the channel, you guys. I'm Connor O'Reilly with Team Lone Star Discs, and I'm joined today by my new teammate, Carter Aarons. Carter crushes the discs, and if you don't know him, you're gonna see some impressive throws today. Your tour series is the Warbird this year. Tell us a little bit about in what situation you're, you're using that disc and how it's flying for you. Yeah, for me, uh, I'm throwing it for like anything, probably for 450 and up, or if I just wanna throw like a low skip shot, and it's just like super reliable and it's what I've figured out it's kind of doesn't get affected by the wind that's one thing that I really like about it yeah Warbird's been fighting the wind real nice for me and I'm excited to see Carter ripping his on the course today did you play this tournament last year yep I did okay mm -hmm. and uh, but you and you had a chance to play this one yesterday how do you like the the new layout versus last year's yeah I think it's a little better since uh, there's not like weird hyzers and stuff yeah, there was about four holes on the old one that i thought were kind of <laughs> not the best uh, so i'm excited to hear that yeah yeah everything's looking nice and the fairways in the woods are kind of amazing yeah that's awesome to hear well we're here for the open at austin presented by flight factory and we're going to show you guys the newly redesigned harvey pennick golf campus it's a beautiful property let's get to it okay this is hole one par three 400 feet and there's kind of like a little ravine down there. You don't want to throw it there. And OB is pretty far past the basket, so that shouldn't come into play. So you can basically throw any disc. And yeah, it's not too hard of a hole. It's kind of a nice starting hole. And I'm just going over stable Mad Cat. Oh yeah, I was worried about the width, but good height, enough to bring it back. Got to see one. First shot of the day, so I'm just gonna smooth the warbird out there, not work too hard. Maybe play it at that white tower in the back with a little bit of height. That'll do. Close. <laughs> this is actually like a crazy awkward spot. <laughs> All right, I gotta go full straddle on the first spot of the day here. Get those hips woke up. I need to practice more straddle putts. I'm terrible at them. Yeah, oh. Are those blue bonnets I'm seeing. When did you make the switch? Uh, like a week before. Um, the Florida tournament. Nice. Yeah, I couldn't putt with penny putters if it's windy. Yeah. They just. I like to stay for like my forever. long putts or my anti putts or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I have like a beat up one for like super long putts and stuff. Hole one, I like it on the easier side, but I don't mind when the course kind of lets you in, uh, lets you get warm on the first hole. So elevated basket will keep you honest, and let's see hole two. Hole two is going to be almost the same hole as the last year, but they refined the out of bounds a little bit, and I think that's a good thing. Because last year you could really just blast a hyzer shot out to kind of where those kids are playing golf and play from there. But now you got to play more of a placement shot off the tee and then play that across the golf green second shot. We are teeing off over the creek here, so shouldn't really come into play for any of the MPO competitors. Or, but for some other divisions, you know, this creek might be a little daunting in the headwind. We've seen a lot of forehands here or just a placement backhand. I think I'm gonna try the forehand out. The Crockett just slid into my bag yesterday while shooting my Disc of the Week promotional stuff and I wanna experiment with it some more this off season or this, this practice week.
even holds up to my wobble. <laughs> uh, I have no clue how far the middle landing zone is. Yeah, it looks like. So I'm gonna try a Texas Ranger. I like that, yeah. Oh, into the ground. Yeah. That was lucky. Carter's got the issue of coming up long on this one easy, so he's got to figure out what to throw. What? I already lost my birdie bag. That's sad. Whoops. Uh, first forehand of the day, my elbow always pops for some reason. Whoa, that's, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta get that thing out and warm up so you don't have to do it on the course. No. Yeah. <laughs> I got 400 feet in. I gotta clear this out of bounds golf green and there's also an out of bounds line that wraps on the left side and long of the basket. I don't wanna go forehand quite that long this early in the morning so I'm gonna go turnover Wrangler. All right, down there for a long putt. Well, apparently we can't practice the course on our official practice day because there's a children's golf camp in our way right here. So we're just gonna assume Carter's up there in the circle for a putt, easy. <laughs> All right, just outside here. Oh, and the roll. Oh, player yeah. B. Okay, we are on hole three, par three, 360 feet. And they got rid of the OB right, and they brought it into the left. So now there's OB on the cart path to the left. And I would say the play is either like a forehand around the left side, or like backhand down the middle, or I'm gonna try like a backhand hyzer. And in this headwind, I hope that works. So let's see how this whole plays out. Stay up, this is a perfect win for that line. Come on. I don't know. Hard to tell if it cleared, but that was real close. I'm gonna go more direct with my Wrangler, play it on Heiser, trust it to flip up. Tree probably helped me there. We'll take it. All right, awkward C2 look. Got this tree in my way. Let me try to go Annie. Oh. That's right. Yeah. This one's a bonus hole for sure. Yeah, definitely. This isn't bad over here. No. <laughs> Damn. What the heck? <laughs> Tell them layups are for basketball, y'all. Come on now, Carter. Did I land that flat or not? It was kind of flat, but it had a little angle, I guess. Okay. It was flat, but it was slow. So once it didn't have the spin, it kind of created its own on the hill. Come on. Hey, easy three. <laughs> that was so floaty. Good putt. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to get a three. <laughs> Two different ways, y'all. <laughs> Straight forward in the zigzag motion. Some of y'all might recognize this green. It was a part of last year's course, but except we teed about 150 feet, 200 feet off to the right and on the lower tier, 
Now we're way here, on the, up here on the top of the hill, 460 feet playing down the entire way. Maybe like 60 feet of drop here or more. Out of bounds wraps in tight, so you're gonna wanna go slower disc, especially in today's tailwind. Honestly, might be the perfect opportunity to go with that Tour Series penny putter. Oh yeah. Let it fly. So much hyzer. Oh my god. Oh, that is so far. I think that was a good disc, but I needed to be flat out of the hand. That was a little more of a right to left than a tailwind, I thought. Huh. I'm gonna try a midi. It's slightly overstable, so I'm gonna try to force it over to bring the wind out of play, hopefully. It. Wow. Oh yeah, that's straight out of bounds. Yeah, I'm gonna try my midi as well. I think, like Carter said, if we can get a little turn out of our hand, but not really turn it, we can kind of fight the wind. So, try to play it real wide here. Wow, this is a hole where it really helps to like not be the first mm -hmm. on the T-pad because yeah. that one looks shanked right and it's circle one because the wind has played it so much. I'm gonna try to follow that line with a Benny. A little bit more stable than a penny putter but still has the same glide. Is that a straighter midi? Uh, it might be, I don't know. That's the only one I've really thrown, so. Yeah, I've thrown a lot of yeah. them. Midi's kind of like, that's like my favorite mi midi yeah, range. I'm loving it. So wet. On our adjustment shots, we found the circle here. This one is definitely a hole that you need to play in a couple different winds so that you know truly how wide to swing it. I went with the midi. This one swung way back left. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How does that catch? <laughs> that was a weird one, yo. <laughs> that was amazing. That never happens. Yeah, these high, these baskets so. aren't very friendly on the high side a lot, but there you go. That's how to birdie hole four after some adjusting. Okay, we're on hole five, par four, 520 feet. It's kind of the same hole as last year, but they just moved the basket slightly left, which I feel like it's going to be way harder to eagle. And yeah, same OB, same everything. And you can either lay up to the right where they are right there, or you can just smash one as hard as you can and try to just get over the OB. So yeah, I'm gonna try to smash it over and let's hope that works. Pretty much just a straight headwind. Gonna see if this weird looking bayonet can get over and hold up in this wind. Oh my, that's straight out of bounds. That was great. I think I'm just gonna I'm throw one safe shot with the dose X and then maybe I'll try to lean into one and try to get across. Just trying to split those two trees out there. Yep, that'll work. Mm -mm. Try a warbird, and this should hold up to the wind.
Oh, that is so bad. Second line, first disc. Oh, I don't know though. Do you get there? No, I just, it slipped out of my hand. All right, I'm gonna try to go ham on the bayonet here. There we go. Dang, showing Carter how us old folks do it. Come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, man, that makes me want to kind of go for it. Especially if this is... That has the juice. I won't pretend that I throw farther than Carter, you guys, but I got to take my victories where I get them, you know? Here's a look at the safe play over here with the dose X. Just going to go. Chip forehand, horny toad into the green. Soft. It's alright, it puts. Kinda. This was the second one I threw with the bayonet, so good to know that if I really need to go for this one, coming down into crunch time, I can try to score a two in certain wins. I just gotta learn how to putt from 80. That's the problem. A little lazy on this horny toad approach. Oh, almost saved it. I'll do better on that up shot. Somehow I made it over at the second one. I don't know how that's even possible, but apparently just don't hit the trees, then it's good. And don't forget the daily grind in the gym to have them kind of muscles, you know? That's the thing, I don't go to the gym. You don't go to the gym, huh? No. What do you do then? at home just pull-ups and stuff. Hey, well that's, that's all you need. Yeah. Honestly, and that type of stuff like makes you, you have to be good at the motion and strong enough to do it well. All right, we're getting into the newly carved wooded portion of this course, so I'm really interested to see how these holes are gonna play out. This one's a par four, bending right in the midsection. There's a mandatory tree out there, I'm guessing stopping players from pitching up and spike hyzering over another fairway. Um, also out of bounds on the right side throughout, so you're gonna wanna avoid that. I'm gonna go penny putter off the tee. Just trying to kinda of play a late flipping straight shot and get myself anywhere out there past that little skinny tree in the middle. This one's in the Delta II plastic. Yeah, that should be great. I'll take it. And I'm gonna go Mockingbird. It flies exactly like a penny putter at this kind of distance. It's just, I can play a little lower and it'll get the same distance as the penny putter. Oh yeah, a lot better slide too with that faster disc. That looks a good spot. That thing flies so good. I don't have to throw it hard at all. All right, I'm seeing why Carter chose a faster disc because if you are short, you pretty much just have to lay up again. It, it does bend pretty far to the right here. I'm gonna try to squeeze my mini, my midi up there on a little low flex. It's a tough spot to be here if you want a birdie. Wow, that's about the best throw, the best throw I could have wow. from there. So. That was so good. I'll take it. <laughs> and if you like just kiss the left tree, yeah, you're straight out of bounds. <laughs> it's not 1983, bro. Yeah, I don't know how close the OB is right. I mean, this one's solid, but. I'm gonna try to just do a mad cat forehand and Hope OB right isn't that close towards the basket. Yeah. 
Not OB. That's a plus. <laughs> oh, that's so far left. Sailed it. I saw the flag moving. I thought there was some wind, y'all. Was not. Not enough, at least. Do not want to go long. I'd be horrible going down there. Is that out of bounds down there? Yeah, it looks like there's a line on the edge. Oh yeah. I think this is a hole that will mature well for sure. It's a got a good shape to it, and as some of the maybe the rough thins out, it'll be a little more forgiving. But as of right now, it's very very specific. Saved whatever number that is. Okay, hole seven, par three, 305 feet. There's OB all along the right side. So if you like turn something over too much, it, you could be long or OB right. So I think the play is either like a hyzer flip down the middle, or I'm gonna try to do like a turnover just to the left of that tree and hopefully not go too far right. So yeah. I need to find a flippier mid-range. I need to beat in a Texas Ranger. Because this one is pretty stable. Scoot oh, yeah. on up there. Oh, what a good slide. That was amazing. That was a good line. My eyes kind of brought me to this flex forehand on the right side. I'm going to try one with my horny toad. See how that works out. Oh, it's so low. Well, that was the line I was looking for. I'm going to go one more with my spur. Try to give it a little more air. Too wide. Hmm. I'm gonna try the hyzer flip line with this since I didn't have it last practice round because I forgot it in the car, which was pretty sad. Couldn't do anything turning to the right. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Not far enough. The horny toad holds a nice straight line, but I didn't give this one enough air space to get to the basket. Pretty 50-50 on this one. Not sure if I want to go forehand or backhand. Why am, do I miss right? Rewind, go get him. Every time. Leave the leave the disc, you can put reput it. No. This one is very precise, very tight. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're still here in the woods. This one's a par four. Hole eight is 570 feet, tucked off to the right, out of bounds left and right, and tons of tree trunks to try to navigate. This left side looks like the biggest opportunity for the right hand player, that's probably gonna make you have to throw a low skipping forehand. There's also some straight options, but they're gonna have a little bit of luck involved to really pure them. I'm gonna go slow poke spur, forehand hyzer down the left, try to skip it just past that pecan tree over there.
All right, that's yeah, what I'm that looking for, and we'll see. Great. I'm right on a little tree though, so no clean swing. Whoops. I'm gonna try a warbird, throw it a little bit softer, and I hope that's a good option. I like Warbird though, because they probably would have skipped better on that line I threw, so. Right in the middle. Just do that. Oh, oh. that was so good. Slightly more right, and that's money. I'm going to try Mockingbird, have it be a super late flipper. And it's pretty far down there, so I'm going to throw it kind of hard. I have no clue where that went. Should be decent though, I think. 60 foot in jail. Nearly the perfect drive, but got a tough spot here. I'm gonna go horny toed forehand, just try to blast it up the gap. Oh. Hint too much hyzer, but that'll par. Chip in opportunity. V1 blue bonnet. Floated it. Whoops. Wow. This is terrible. You do not want to miss right. Forehand roller. Carter's not even 100 feet from the basket and has more than 100 trees in his way. That was so good. And that's not even close to the basket. I think it'd be fair to say this hole will have the most forehand rollers on the course. Yeah. Possibly. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. Finally dropped a long one. Got the putt. Saved it. Saved the blue bonnet from looking bad by putting with the other blue bonnet. I'm gonna try to hit a tiny gap. Okay, it should fit through if I put it really good. Oh, <laughs> wow. There we go. I Yay. feel like this is a three hole wooded stretch that if you can be one under par through these three, you might've grabbed like four strokes on the average for the field. It's gonna to be tough. Yeah. Hey, hole nine, par four, 745 feet. It's basically the same hole as last year. Again, they just pushed OB left up, so you can kind of go OB left now. And yeah, you just don't wanna, you don't need to push it that far since the green isn't too hard to throw it into. You just wanna be as left as possible without going out of bounds. And I think I'm just gonna throw like a Warbird or a Banna and just try to get left of the green. And that should be prime position. Yeah, I'll throw this guy. Never mind, I'll throw Warbird. I love my Warbirds. They're amazing. Money. Should be good. Some of you guys might recognize this as hole 18 from last year, and Carter just put it to a great spot, so I'm gonna take my bayonet, try to match him. Oh, a lot more turn on that. I need it to get down. No, it's short. Okay. We're good. I'm a noodle. I'm just kicking stuff. 
I'm gonna go ban it and seeing if pushing it further is gives you any benefits. Or just throw it in the perfect landing zone. <laughs> I don't know. Got about 310 feet in, a little bit uphill, out of bounds, a little beam that we're playing on too. I'm gonna try to use this left to right wind, throw my new Charlie Spur, rip it on forehand. Trust it to finish. Oh, did not rip it out wide like I was supposed to. Rewind. Alpha spur this time. A little correction. That's the line. Huh? Gotta trust it. Right there. We couldn't really tell that there was a pretty strong left to right, so I threw my warbird and kind of didn't get affected by the wind, but then when I threw the bayonet, since it's like a 13 more glidey, kind of got carried by the wind. But now I'm gonna try Texas Ranger and see if it can get right enough. Left to right should help though. Wow, that just, right it. I just slipped straight on my hand. That's, I guess that's it was more of a tailwind. Penny putter, this thing never slips out of my hand. Just straight out of bounds. I'm gonna try just a Frio. Mm -mm. Dude, I cannot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Little fake news birdie off the adjustment, but hey, that's what practice is for you. There it is. Player B, match. I'm gonna say I went out of bounds right here. Shouldn't yeah. make a difference in strokes. <laughs> Unless I magically throw it. Oh, that's gonna be it for the front nine. Been a bit of a wacky start, but you know, we've had kids to play through a little kids camp. We've had, you know, just getting our game warmed up. It's, it is early in the morning. The sun's start, starting to shine now. So the back nine, we're gonna have everything rolling and uh, maybe a little bit less of those wacky woods holes to deal with too. So hopefully uh, there's a lot of birdies and a lot of fun shots on the back nine for you guys. Carter, tell the people how they can support you this year. Yeah, you can go to uh, uh, Instagram, Aaron's Disc Golf Bros, or just Carter Aaron's. And I actually have a Tour Series Warbird that just came out on LoneStarDisc.com. So, yeah, that's it. Yeah, all that information will be in the description below, so don't forget to check that out. And also don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys for that back nine here soon. Check it out.